26-year-old Michael O'Callaghan has made a significant impact in the training ranks over the past year. And the Tralee man is dreaming of a first Group 1 success with Now or Never, who made a big impression with a stylish win in the Topaz Phillies Maiden at the Galway races. We thought a lot of her and, um, you know, going into that day we said it would take a very good one to beat her, but, you know, it's, that's a, historically a very, very good maiden. Legitissima won it last year and... Um, and we said it would take a good one to beat her, but you know, going to that race, you can't be guaranteed to go, to, you know, to go and win. And um, for her to win in the style that she did was, you know, was quite a thrill for all of us, really. And um, I think she caught the imagination of the general public as well, and a lot of experts in the game kind of took a step back and said, "Wow, well, that's a, it's a very nice filly." Now or never, further enhanced her reputation, finishing second to a smart Jim Bulger colt in Herald the Dawn in the Group Two Futurity Stakes at the Curra. And one of Now or Never's owners, Noel Hayes, says she has so far exceeded their expectations. I guess you'd say we bought in at a modest level. Um, Michael obviously did a very good job buying her from the breeze ups. Um, and the Myglare is a long way away from your expectations when you write the check. Um, you know, your expectations perhaps might be Galway and we've surpassed that already. So we're looking forward to the Myglare group one race. Um, I think she's shown that she's going to deserve her place there. She ran a hell of a good race the weekend, um, chasing home. Um, Jim Bulger is a very good two year old. So it's very exciting. It's very exciting just with what's happened so far and it's very exciting considering what might happen in the future again. Quite quickly we knew that she was maybe something special. It, was, it wasn't that she was over exuberant in her work, it was just, just everything was so easy to her. In her stable she was so laid back, around the yard in her work you wouldn't know she was here. Michael O'Callaghan has made a great start to his training career. He has 34 horses in training and has had 11 winners so far this year. So how did he decide to go training horses? Probably like most young lads, I got into it through ponies and riding ponies and caught the bug that way and horses are infectious once you get you know, get, get, get the bug and um, started to work for Tom Cooper down home in Chile, I'm from Chile and um, worked for Tom for all my, my holidays and my, my time off and uh, from school and after that then I went to you know went to work for Coolmore and I did yearlings in Kilsheelan and uh, then I went to do stallions in Castle Hyde, one of their one of their stallion farms down there in Cork and um, you know that just reinforced the bug working at you know working with some of the best horses in the world horses that he had watched running on the track and winning group ones and thinking geez it'd be great to ever meet them horses never mind work with them did the national stud course for a while and i stayed there to run the yard and after that then um with the help of my father we went and we set up a um, rangefield bloodstock and we started trading horses basically um, i was only uh, 20 years of age and uh, you know it was a it was a, it was a challenge and i started buying young horses and and, and producing them for sales Training probably evolved. I always wanted to train, but um, it evolved probably a bit sooner rather than I expected, and um, you know things have things have gone well. In Michael's first couple of seasons with the license, Sheikh Fad Al Thani's Qatar Racing and Pearl Bloodstock have bought maiden winners Aggression and Letters of Note. Both horses will stay in training with Michael on the Curra, and with the real prospect of a classics contender for next season with Now or Never. These are exciting times for a young man who has made his mark in double quick time.